Hey, my wonderful Cancers, welcome to my channel. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kamoy. If you are not new to the channel and you're returning back, welcome back. All right, so let's just get into your monthlies, my wonderful Cancers. I have already pre-pulled the cards. So whether you're looking for inspiration, motivation, spiritual guidance, confirmation, if you're into signs and symbols, numerology, or if you know there's some shit going on and you can't quite put your finger on it, you may be able to find something here, okay? I am a certified Reiki energy healer, which means that I do deal with your chakra system so you will hear me refer to your chakras a lot okay uh we're gonna take a look at your energy versus the energy that you're interacting with keep in mind that energy is fluid which means i can say that this is your energy's cancer but if you're interacting with the virgo and it feels more like virgo's energy please swap the energies where they need to be keep in mind that you take what you need and you leave what you do not if it ain't for you don't try to force it okay all right and so we're going to start off with week one, all right? And just so you know, the clarification um, or the deep clarification with Oracle Cards or the extended version of this video is going to be on Patreon, okay? All right, popping off the week, we got personal power, which is your soul plexus energy. All right, this deals with your self-confidence, self-determination, self-worth, self-mastery, your inner strength, okay? And it's asking you to take back your personal power or saying that the first week of this month is going to be dealing with your personal power. All right, T. Overall, the energy that dominates this week is going Going to be your solar plexus so we're talking about ego versus your will here okay now your energy is popping off here where you do have some tower situations happen okay happening now let me just say something about when you're having tower moments tower moments don't necessarily mean that is something horrific that happens this could be something that you've taken the time out to change or to readjust in your life but it, whatever change it is it's going to be major change okay now this communication may definitely come in um, heartfelt, okay? Like a heartfelt communication. Um, you definitely um, could be a little bit of um, mental restlessness going on, okay? Very energetic. So this and this information is going to come in very forceful, okay? Or you could be communicating this, whatever you you fit in a tear up, break down, burn down. All right, you could be delivering this information very forcefully um, or very... Mm, I'm feeling immaturely cancers okay if you in your feelings because you do got the devil card popping up that's a lot of major um arcana just in the first week we got the tower card which is um um uh, help me here Mars okay so that could be um, Aries or that can be Scorpio all right um, then you got the devil call which is Capricorn right so you could be dealing with a, a Scorpio or you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be dealing with an Aries okay either which way this energy with Capricorn is saying that there could be some type of codependency that you may have to look at within the first week because there's something happening here okay there's some type of either major aha epiphany moment or some major news coming in that's going to, whatever is coming in is going to cause you to change something major in your, your life, okay? You could be interacting with someone or energy that is selfish, okay? Very materialistic, selfish energy. Um, but this person comes in. Um, sweet charming, sweet talking, okay? They they come in very well emotionally put together, very well emotionally sound, but they not. They childish. They childish as hell, and they immature, okay? And their look in life may not match your look in life, okay? And that's probably why you're getting in the business over here and why you're breaking, like you breaking and burning shit up, right? Um, Yeah, because you are dealing and interacting with energy that can be a little selfish, a little bit narcissistic. On like on a narcissist um, aspect of the energy. Very, very childish, okay? And I also want to say this could be also... Hmm. And you could be dealing with someone here too where um, as far as the sex is concerned, they may not be getting a full erection. Okay. I don't know why I'm hearing. Somebody may be shooting blanks. Okay, uh, so be mindful. A lot of ego. You want to watch your ego in the in the first week, cancers. Okay, watch your ego in the first week. All right, all right. By the second week, you're gonna have to ground yourself, and I see why. Because if you got all this shit happening in the first week, by the second week, yeah, you may feel a little burnt out, tapped out, and need to sit your ass down. Right now, you got six of cups energy in reverse with the king of wands energy in reverse, and this is not a good combination. 
This is impulsive energy. This is firecracker energy. This is explosive energy. This is unrealistic energy, okay? This is I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me type energy. And that is not where you want to be sitting in this. Because this says to me that you have intuitive messages coming in and you are just not listening. You finna just say what you say, feel how you feel, let it rip, and that's just it, okay? And if that's not your energy, this is the energy you're interacting with. However... I'm going to say this. You're still dealing with somebody that knows you very well. Okay. This is the high priestess card. This is moon energy. So you could be dealing with another cancer. Or this could be you. Right. This could be your relationship with yourself. Right. Um, however, this energy is saying that this person is very intuitive. Okay. Um, very, very intuitive. Okay. Um, maybe even psychic-like abilities, to be honest with you. But I kind of feel with all of this water, there's a lot of water. So you could be dealing with another water sign or this could be your energy um, interacting. Um, however, this person is very intuitive, uh, but the in, with the, intu the intuitive nature, still holding on to some things from the past. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify some more. Yep. The three of wands, any different looking towards the future and thinking about the future, but they're still... They're still carrying some baggage. Yeah. They're feeling like they may need to make a decision about the future here. Okay. There's still some resentment here. Um, somebody's being unrealistic. Yep. Mm -hmm. This. Yep. Lover's card is showing up in your energy by the second week. And that's Gemini energy in reverse. So you could be interacting or dealing with a Gemini. Or they could have Gemini placement in their chart. But this could also just be representing things that, you know, they're not in alignment. Somebody may not be as flexible in a relationship that they need to. All right. Someone also could be having uh, shoulder problems or feeling a lot of tension in their shoulders. Okay. A Janine or a Jenkins. Could be a last name Jenkins. Okay. First name, maybe Janine, or initials JJ. Okay. Janine Jenkins, or um, J Jenkins, or you could be interacting with a Janine, you know, and connected to Jenkins in some way. Okay. Um... A lot of intuitive energy is popping off for you in the second week. You won't have to trust it because you are water sign. But it doesn't look like you are. This is why you're going to have to ground yourself. Because right off the board, yeah. I got to say, attitudes may be rolling high. Somebody may be stinky, funky, um, attitude-wise on the second week. Okay? I mean, you started off the, the month, like, with pop, explosive already. Right? All right. Third week, they're asking you to use your third eye. Visualization, how you see a thing is how a thing is going to be. All right? The energy that you are rocking with by the third week is Ace of Wands energy in reverse, which means that you're feeling like, shit, ain't nothing really happening over here. Everything seems delayed. Every time we try to work at this, it's always something. Shit just ain't working. Right? There's always conflict. There's always conflict. Right? Two of Wands is like you're saying, okay, there's always conflict. There's always some shit. There's always some shit. Two of Wands. Yeah, we planning for the future, but look at this. There's always some shit. There's conflict. Right? So you could be communicating to somebody that, okay, there may be no future here. And that could have been a communication at the beginning of the month. The Magician card is showing up in reverse on the second week. Um, this is being paired with the five of wands. So you're going to have to watch the manipulation. I kind of feel like, yeah, watch the manipulation. Watch that emotional manipulation. When you do things sometimes to get a reaction from somebody, you may not like the reaction that they give you, okay? The judgment card is showing up here in reverse with the eight of swords, which lets me know with the judgment card showing up in reverse, this person could not even be interested in entertaining um, or examining they're just refusing to examine themselves in this situation. They may feel like I've examined myself and I've done all I can do. Okay. So they may feel like that. Okay. Um, so you need to be mindful of that as you're moving throughout this energy. Okay. Hold for me one second, y'all. Hey. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. So you're going to let me know when you're there. Because I'm literally like five minutes away. Not even five minutes, like three minutes. I'm just down the block. 
Okay, all right. <sighs> Sorry about that, y'all. Um, gotta meet up. Um, okay. Third weekend, yeah. Visualization, yeah. Somebody may be refusing to examine themselves and be like, I'm ready, I'm out. Deuces! They open to new perspective and they open to release. So somebody may be saying deuces, like you, you did, like let's go back to the beginning of the month. You see what you did. Patience, temperance is popping up, okay. Your energy. Queen of Cups. You're not having that. They're still refusing to look at themselves and they're open to release, right? But they're still being patient and looking like they want to work on some things by the third week. But your energy is saying you're not trying to hear that, though. Okay, I got to say. I just got to say. Nobody think they're wrong by the third week in this situation at all. Nobody thinks they're wrong. There's a lot of heavy manipulation going on here by the third week. And nobody thinks they're wrong in this situation, honey. Page of Swords. Yep. Now they doing a whole bunch of talking. There's a lot of communication. And this communication could be talking about working things out. Um, you know. But you can't really get, let me, just honestly, let's just be honest about relationships, okay? Like real talk here, okay? How you finna change something and, 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 and get better in a relationship if you still emotionally manipulating somebody to get what you want and you still lying and not looking at yourself to see the mistakes that you made in a relationship as to why y'all all the way y'all are now? It's like there's a whole bunch of talking, but nobody's really looking at themselves here. Okay, they're looking at themselves, no. You're looking at yourself with this hermit energy in reverse, no. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to have to get a different perspective on how you want to move and handle things by the third week. Because if you don't, you in for a lot, a lot of um, emotional highs and lows. Okay. Mm. I got to be honest with y'all. The Oracle message card that is pulled up that's supposed to be on the extension talks about heartache and loss. Number three, third week. Okay. You can clarify this, but I'm telling you, watch how you're perceiving things and don't be baited emotionally. Okay. All right. By the fourth week, you got communication. Third chakra popping up. This is your life purpose. Is it worth my time? Is it worth my while? Is this even worth my energy? Right? That's your lifeline. Like your throat chakra, that's your lifeline. That is how you create and destroy the world. Your world. You may have to be um, open to communication as you're moving throughout the last week of the month. Um, some of you just could be the, uh, telepathic. Okay, you could just feel either the person pulling on you or you could be thinking about that person and sending the back and forth communication. Princess of Wands energy, immature energy popping off, especially when it comes to planning about the future. Some, let me tell you something, um, Cancers, okay. Um, do not, once again, I'm saying you don't want to do something to get a reaction. So if you're going to do something, if you're saying you want to walk away, you want to move on, right? Don't just say that so somebody could react and change. Say that because you mean it. Because you may not get the reaction that you like. Okay. So you over here in this Princess of Wands, in a little bit immature, a little bit, you know, maybe selfish, maybe even boastful energy. Three of Wands energy. Eight of Cups energy. You walking away. You're communicating that you're ready to walk away. Okay. You just, yeah, you communicated your disappointments. Yeah, I'm not happy. This is hopeless. I'm not, you know. Yep, and the energy they're operating with is the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. There's going to be some type of um ending here. Some type of, you know, you guys have been dealing with this crisis pretty much for the beginning of the month. You know, yep. You're walking away. Nine of Coins energy. 
See? This was something that could have been lucrative or may have been lucrative at a point. And when I say lucrative, this worked for the, the both of you in the beginning, right? Yeah, you've lost your patience. You've lost your patience. I kind of feel like they've lost their patience and nobody wants to look at each other here. That's the thing. Nobody wants to look at each other. Nobody wants to admit they're wrong. No. Body wants to admit they wrong, honey. That might cost y'all a relationship. Okay, that may cause you the relationship, all right? So, if you are not joining me on the extension, I do want to say this to you. Don't do things to get a reaction this month. You want to manage your emotions, trust your intuition. You could be going through a lot of highs and lows this week. You may have to make some decisions. You are dealing with someone that knows you very well. Um, you could be doing a lot of emotional manipulation, Cancers. I'm just going to be upfront with you, okay? Watch your ego as you're moving through this week. You're going to have to try and see not just the truth, but also see things unfolding for you the way that you want it to okay that's gonna be important okay all right i appreciate each and every one of you my loves i'm gonna see y'all on the backhand side okay i'm gonna see y'all on the backhand side make sure you're checking out the daily vibrations not to mention um pay forward fridays on youtube live okay and then i do instagram lives also so you want to make sure that you join me on instagram at the number four you're in the voice okay same way you spell it on youtube it's the same way that you will be able to find me on instagram all right peace love and light to each and every one of you and if you are sticking around for the extension I